all the books are going to burn. It's not your fault. Think about your book. Yes. We have to get out of here. I have to find Hugo. I reckon those kids started the fire so they can sleep away quietly. They're gonna be sorry when I catch them. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, that looks a lot better.
Be right back. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, run away. I've got better things to do. Really have to go in there? Yes. Take a deep breath. Uh, it's already hot. What a bloody mess. <laughs> Amicia! So you succeeded? Here. I have to warn you, it smells a bit burnt. Who's he? Roderick. But shh. Ah, uh, the sanguine is. What is this book about? 
It's... It's the story of a little boy who's going to get a lot better now. Right, I'm starving. Anyone else? Me. Come and eat then. I think we deserve it. You too. Coming. No, no, no! Bloody hell! That's no good. Hey, are you all right? It's nothing. <sighs> Tell me, this door, have you ever opened it before? It's stuck. It's the only place in the chateau we haven't been yet. Don't you want to see what's behind it? Well, Hugo is asleep. Let's go take a look. This, at least, I know how to do! There you go. Well, that was uh, efficient. And almost paid. It's not an Inquisition oh, guard. Let's go. But at least I'll be able to continue training. Whoa. Can you feel that? No. What? When you enter a place that has been abandoned for a very long time, there's something in the air. Yes, dust. No, the stones. It's like interrupting a conversation. <sighs> this is the first time I felt it here. <clears throat> hmm. That looks dangerous. Let's avoid it for now. Another door. Shall we continue? Of course. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, the courtyard. It's a shortcut. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. I found something while I was doing some clearing earlier. Come take a look. Another story about stones? Actually, you're not far off. Amicia, come and see this. You'll like it. I'm coming. A fresco. It's strangely familiar. It includes the symbols of the pillars. This castle has things to tell us, huh? And what is it telling us then? Even I don't understand everything. I just think we'll be fine here. Amicia! Come quickly! It's Hugo! Oh no. I'm coming! Need me? I'll call you. Come on! Come on! I'm here, Lucas! Quickly! Hugo, please. <clears throat> it's getting worse and worse. The macula is progressing too fast. I realize that, Amicia. Mm. I'm doing my best. Mm. I... I mean, I'm trying to do what the book says. But it's going to take too long. I need a proper laboratory. Like Laurentius had? No, no. One with better equipment. Well, perhaps my mother at my home. She must have had some equipment there. You're right. It's worth a try. Alicia! Lucas! I believe your twins are back. Melly! You found him! More dead than alive. But yes. Amicia, we, 
We came because, well... Yes. Arthur, you tell her. After our little adventure with your heretic burning friends, I ended up in an Inquisition cell. One day I saw the guards accompany a prisoner who looked the worse for wear. Those bastards wanted her to tell them where her son was, so... They threatened her. And I heard her name. Beatrice Storum. Mother is alive? She's alive? You managed to get Arthur out? It wasn't simple. Believe me. So you could... Forget it. I was nothing. She... She's too important to the Grand Inquisitor. He, uh... Questions her... A lot. They... Torture her? Hugo mustn't know anything of this. Even that she's alive? It might help him. And what will we say when he wants to see her? Tell him nothing, all right? Ah! Oh no! Hugo! Hugo! Ah! Ah! The next threshold! It's coming! Ah! We have to go at once! To my home! Now! Hugo, we'll stay here with him. It will be all right, my little brother. I swear, this time we will heal you. All right. I'll get the Sanguinis Genera and some potions, and then we'll leave. <laughs>